Snapchat. Yo, Snapchat, let's discuss uh, solar power in the future of energy. But first, I found dolphins. Come look at these. Yeah, dolphins. You can barely see them. Oh well. So because solar power is now driven by information technology, it's actually an exponential technology, uh, meaning that it's doubling uh, its capacity and its kind of price performance every two years. In 2013, solar power accounted for about 0.5% of the world's total uh, electricity generation. Um, and now in 2015, it's 1%, so you can see it's kind of doubling. Well, winds, low lighting, and an external mic that doesn't work. I think I'll move back to my usual spot. So this is a great example of like exponential versus linear thinking because if you told someone that last year um, you know, the electricity generated by solar was, was 1%, um, they wouldn't think much, they think maybe 50, 100 years from now. But if you extrapolate that out as an exponential, uh, by 2029, so 13 years from now, it'll be a 100% solar generation. So pure, clean, 100% abundant energy. That's not to say that absolutely everything will be solar, it'll still be a mix of you know, wind, water, hydrothermal, uh, backup, battery power, fusion, nuclear, so a little bit of coal. I mean, ultimately, the thing that dri is driving this is uh, technology and the economics, the price performance and the cost per wattage. Uh, and solar is dropping exponentially in the price per watt. There's another stat somewhere that suggests that uh, the amount of sun that hits the earth at any given moment uh, could basically power our entire energy needs 10,000 times over. So if we can capture just a tiny fraction of that, we'd be set. And okay, so putting aside the holy grail of like uh, cold fusion, which is basically like, you know, the ultimate on earth energy source, let's discuss like if in 13 years we have abundant energy, what happens then? Well, okay, for one, if you have abundant energy, like and more energy than you possibly need and could use, um, one thing you can do is just desalinate the oceans. Uh, so there you go, you've solved water issues. And the technology to do that is already out. Um, we've, we've desalinated tons of, tons of water. Um, there was a recent thing where they did like 63 million litres or something like that in one day. It's just an energy issue. And so with abundant water, you've got abundant food. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty easy to grow in vertical farms or in greenhouses if you have enough water. Easy. See? And the thing of how many wars have fought over energy, how many, how many countries has the US invaded to get their oil, those douchebags. That, you wouldn't need that anymore if you have abundant energy. You wouldn't need it. We've got electricity. The cool thing with all this as well is that it doesn't require politicians. We don't need to set targets for this. I mean, targets are great and this should be done, but this, this technology is going to charge on anyway, so in 13 years it's definitely going to be cheap enough. And so in 13 years we end up in a world where we have abundant energy that's free, cheap, everyone has it on the planet, abundant, uh, clean, cheap water and electricity and internet and communication. Cheap, abundant food to feed well over 10 billion people and no wars. How cool is that? And so once that's done, we can uh, convert the, the planet and the solar system into computronium, uh, wrap the sun in a Dyson sphere to extract all its energy, and turn it into a matrioska brain. Easy. Well, that escalated quickly. Snap your thoughts. Our future. Gotcha. Have a good day.